Welcome to the Codex. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to call API in your Flutter application. Okay, I haven't described it that all things in its step. Let's get started. So just you are seeing my window and just I'll show you that add step first uh, I have added that into my descript video description you can see there okay let's create our project uh, something wrong of oh, letter spelling wrong actually I missed T okay now wait for this uh, creating the project I have used the codex practices package name and codex project name okay let's open the code into the VS code I'm using code command uh, it's actually if you have installed VS code then you can use this code for the purpose Done. let's resize the windows so uh, now you can see my window the second thing we have to do that adding the internet permission okay just go to the internet memphis android memphis and this is a launcher file which help you to launch the application let's launch the application this is first time so it will take time this is a dio library and uh, this is the link of dio so you can find the documentation uh, on this uh, url okay just copy this and uh, okay wait for the launch the application uh, it's almost done I'm just fast forward in the video that is done it's now installed okay just open the main file main dot dot uh, I'm just removing that unnecessary code I don't want this code here okay let's delete this uh, create a new homepage file I just remove the title it's up to you how your project is working that uh, depend on it which file you need to do you need to create I'm just creating my home file and uh, creating here a stateless widget it's uh, importing material dot dot and then this is a container okay let's see the page what's the problem uh, okay in a main dot I'm just importing it okay just by clicking control and space okay let's see that the blank screen so just go and create the scaffold widget then the app bar app bar and the title for the app bar uh, app bar just we are giving the text is a uh, university list university list okay done now there is a bar showing now second thing I'm creating the body where we have to be represent this uh, list in a list view builder okay second thing what we need uh, actually we need a model this should be in the th second step or third step okay just uh, you have to create the model there is a simple way that to lab that URL will be help you to and this is our API URL so let's uh, show the URL first and API first so this and uh, huh, this URL will be help you to create a JSON file sorry your model from JSON we are giving our model is the user data model and uh, I'm just copying this all data and pasting it here and just generate it art okay now you see that I'm copying this and just go back to your project and library create a folder models and uh, new file that uh, university more university data model okay mm. okay that's uh, actually string done so our model is ready now go to him 
this is uh, I need a stateful widget okay let's list off <coughs> university models and object is university university data model okay university data <coughs> it's a blank now so let's view builder there is item builder we are passing index and uh, oh, okay context and index let's create the process where we have write our function what our function return uh, first i'm just adding a text data for this sample so let's test it uh, something is error here mm, yeah no something is missing let me check we have a scaffold uh, nope indexing contact scaffold let's find out the error okay let's we will address error is there now it's fixed we missed the one bracket you can see the data here so this means our list we builder is working okay let's work with the, our actual data so i'm just adding item count item count for the university data how much data we have dot then item uh, university data dot length okay let's see we don't have any data now i'm just initializing method which is, this method will call while is building while the widget is building now widget binding dot instance dot add, add post callback method which will be called when the widget our ui is completely ready our widget is ready now i'm creating the new method get data from the server just creating this method and uh, writing code here so for saving our time for saving our time i'm just uh, opening the documentation that will help you to do the code faster because video is already too much lengthy so i'm just copying this code from try to try let's copy let's paste here uh, what is await it's required async before the function and importing dr library oh something got wrong uh, we have already forgot to be implement our package yes we have to forgot to add this package into the pubsy camel let's wait for this it will take us few moment for the installation and now you can see in your yaml file the library is added successfully let's import this file wait for a minute okay it's importing wait done the import okay let's uh, remove this url add the url for the university uh, that response will be show you what response we are getting from the server let's clear this let's uh, reload the application and what we see that wait for this let's uh, wait okay wait uh, it's uh, i'm just restarting application and uh, some yes now you got the data so just convert this data into the list view i'm just running the for in element as response and then first uh, i'm just creating a local variable that uh, list view i'm just saying this data equal to a blank i'm just putting that server data into this model okay i dot university data model dot e what's wrong mm, okay dot data yeah, it's done and uh, okay so so what i forgot we forgot that so we have to convert that json into the model so there is a method from json let's get ready okay all data has been synchronized successfully sorry ui so we 
university dot data index uh, index our index number for the list and there is a dot name uh, and it is into the string to string okay it is done now we forgot to set state that university data our global variable equal to data so it will be set our state okay let's uh, go back and check it let's restart the ui wait uh, wait 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 this what's wrong everything looks okay yeah done actually that's a network issue okay all it is really start received let's uh, do some design instead of using direct text i'm just putting this into the row and uh, using children's and there is a what uh, expand it okay expand it uh, expand it will help you to be um, make a uh, flexible space in a multiple components okay first uh, i'm just adding index plus one so we'll get this uh, serial number for our list okay then i'm just adding some padding here so okay yeah this is look good then adding second expanded and uh, we are giving the flex for for take more space and adding the text and uh, this is string name of university we have a website also so i'm just adding the new column here so uh, we have a university name above and the board the website is a bottom, bottom size down size okay we just uh, making alignment left so i'm using the cross sides alignment at the start done it's look good so you can do your design as per your requirement now I'm adding the next uh, expanded uh, giving the flex 3 children and uh, same as the text widget and this time I am adding the data here that was a country sorry that is a country so wow it's okay it's done <coughs> text to string yes okay thanks for thanks for watching Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hit like. And don't forget to subscribe.